Lewis McLeod is here now with us. Lewis, a very good morning to you. Ah, uh, good morning, mate. Hello Greetings, to you. Mr. Squeaker. I've taken on uh, your uh, your voice of uh, of Ian Blackford. Imagine waking up first thing this morning, um, and I do what I always do: check Twitter to see if anything's going on. And there was a thread, and um, I saw that uh, one of the tweets I couldn't see. And I saw that Blackford was in the group, and I suddenly I, I clicked on uh, Blackford's name, and, and there, sure enough, I was blocked. Extraordinary. It's it's quite outrageous. Enough is enough. <laughs> Mike Graham is a wee jobby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't even remember saying anything to him. I don't know whether well, that's he's. Not the a... point. I, he's just basically a broadcast denier. You're blocked. <laughs> there will be no debate. Yes, but surely you'll need some of my money up there in uh, in Body Scotland, Mr. Blackford, because that's all you, you are ask for. You're getting a tap from me from now on and ever. Not even a pint. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible miss as well that we haven't seen you for a couple of weeks because the Prime Minister's question time uh, has been suspended for the Easter break. Uh, we're looking forward to your return. Uh, well, you know, I'm just basically up here on the Isle of Skye kicking the height and the, the wind and the gales, you know what I mean? Milking the coos and yeah. that, you know? Yes. Because milk's free. <laughs> Have you seen any sign of Alex Salmond since he's uh, rejuvenated his career? Well, let me, let me just say here that... Uh, You've seen a very long-haired and contrite Alec, and quite reasoned in his debate about Alba. I've named my party Alba after, uh, well, I looked into the history of it, and they made fantastic wireless radios way back when. <laughs> we may not get some votes, but we've got 200,000 orders for kitchen radios. And, uh, and in fact, Alba is the Gallic. Alba is the Gallic for Alba. And uh, I'm quite sure there's a few English people want to call me a right Alipa down there, but it doesn't matter. He's got a great voice, Alec. From he's got uh, tremendous, he's, it's tremendous, isn't it's it? It's brilliant. But, I mean, uh, the funny thing about Alba as well is that the BBC have got a channel called Alba, which is causing a few problems. <laughs> yeah. because, because every time they say Alba, it presumably uh, is considered to be an endorsement of Alex Salmond. And it's all entirely deliberate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why didn't you, pro- did you just call his, his, his party STV? You know, <laughs> because I'm too busy working on Channel Four News. That's my that's my modus operandi at the minute. Yeah. But he's got a great voice. If you if you give Alex Salmon an American accent, it would be uh, Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. Hey, <laughs> why, why, hey, hey, Mike. Okay, Nicola, what's going on? Well, hey, you know, it's, it's, it's he it's, has. It's, it's, that's very good. And well, maybe he's got a future in uh, in the voiceover business. Uh, well, you I could sell anything, couldn't you? <laughs> you really could. Is he exactly. worried about? Is he worried about George Galloway? Well, salam alaikum, peace be upon me. <laughs> I think it's all about the the party names. We have. Well, I've got a party called Alba, and I have a party called Alliance Four Dot Flag Union Country <laughs> United Kingdom Dot Com Dot Co Dot UK. Easy to find. Slash. Exactly. <laughs> if you can remember my party name, good luck. They, only, they do use that word never end them, which I do quite like. I think that's uh, that's kind of cool. But the yeah. thing is, he needs a debate. And I took on an entire continent and won. And Senator Norman Coleman is no longer a senator. But that is besides the point. I have never seen oil. No, that was possibly one of your finest performances, George, I have to say. I watched it with some interest. I was running the Scottish Mirror at the time. I remember putting it on the front page. Uh, Gorgeous George won US Senate nil. Let me be very clear, it was my finest hour. I wrote a book about it. Mr. Galloway goes to Washington. I don't know how many people read it, probably not too many, but again, it's in the title. I sat there, I gave them both barrels, and they, I won. Yes, and how did your name end up in a piece of paper inside um, a, a, a set of a chest of drawers in Baghdad? I was teaching Fidel Castro how to smoke and gave him some rizzlers, and it was an entire corruption of that pen mark. Yes. Have you been inspired, George, by Nigel Farage's move to green conservation? Because Nigel now claims not to be uh, interested in day-to-day politics, but he's decided to be become part of the green revolution. Well, let me say, let me, Mike, Mike, it's great to be on the programme again. Before we talk about that, let's talk about the masks. I yes. Mean, what they're trying to propose, these new masks that cover just the nose. Have you seen them? I mean, they've turned me into a duck-billed patypus, which is no no great shakes. But really, you look at something like a toucan cross. Maybe, maybe there's some environmental ethos behind it. I don't know. They're trying to make us look like marine life or animals in the field. I don't know. That could be a healthy thing. Who yes, knows? it could. But the good news is, Nigel, the pubs are opening on uh, Monday. Uh, we'll be in one here in London and hopefully you'll be in one as well somewhere. Well, that's that's as may be, Mike. And let's be honest, I'm, I'm itching to get a pint. I, if, I, if I look like a toucan, I'd rather be drinking in the toucan in yeah. Soho. But no. there you go. And I'm going to have my toes amputated so I can stand closer to the bar. <laughs> 
What's been going on uh, over in the United States lately, Lewis? Because um, we mm. haven't heard too much from uh, from old Sleepy Joe. Well, if not, but let me say, whatever's happening, whoever's coming in and whoever's coming out, I mean, it's been a couple of weeks since I've had my jab. You know, and the AstraZeneca isn't a car. It really does work, you know. But the big problem we got in the moment is oil. Yeah. I got the Enbridge 3 project. I'm pushing that through, and it's enraged Trump, you know. And that's why, because let me tell you, folks, it's all about oil. And the only oil I've ever put anywhere is in my hair. And he wants to he wants to put a big pipe right through Native America. It's not great for the environment. No. Even Nigel would say that. It's not great at all. Let me say, I've had a word, but I mean, it really is dreadful. The Native Indians are like cowboys and Indians. I'll be there. I'll ride over in my horse. You know, it's great. We might even send in Mitt Romney. Yeah. You know, with some Book of Mormons, because they're all Native Americans. You what's know? Uh, what's, what's life there. like uh, outside of the White House, uh, President Trump, outside of uh, back in Mar-a-Lago? How's it going? Well, it's very lazy at the moment. You know, I just sit around the pool shouting, banana daiquiri, banana daiquiri. <laughs> And, you know, he's a great, they're, they're just wonderful people. My staff are terrific. I'm playing a lot of golf. Yeah. Well, it's the so season I usually for go it. out in the. Well, it is. I usually go out in the low 70s. If it's any colder, I stay in. <laughs> Boom, tish. That's a true story. I once played golf in Florida. People came off the course because it went down to 65. This is too cold. I'm like, you should try <laughs> Scotland. That's exactly, that's like an episode of The Curb. I the know. temperature's got to be 75. Yeah, it's unbelievable. They were literally coming off of their droves wearing two two jumpers because it was 65. Wow. That was at, uh, at foot, somewhere in Fort Lauderdale. Now, uh, tell me, um, obviously mm. with the advent of the opening of the economy, uh, Lewis, obviously you'll be looking forward to a few people touring around and about. Um, I'm not sure whether Jeremy Vine's got any plans to do any outdoor shows, but I saw that you were... Um, impersonating him to him the other day. Yeah, well, that worked really well, actually. The production team at Radio 2 said, look, why don't we do this? Because it was 10 years since uh, Rob Brydon yeah. uh, went on. And actually, I didn't know this, but he hosted the whole uh, Ken Bruce show. Well, Ken Bruce there, hello. <laughs> and uh, did, did a great job and fooled a lot of people. Right. But they thought, OK, well, since it's 10 years, maybe we should sort of do something anniversarial about it, if there is such a word. And mm. they got in touch and said, look, do you want to come on? And Because he does that pre-show uh, what's coming up at half eleven? Yeah. And we just went on and made up a load of nonsense. We had we had a lot more material that they didn't have the time to put in. Like you know, how long should you sit in a hairdressing salon? Should you cut? Should you come in for a cut and you know a short back and come back three hours later for the sights? <laughs> just because of the queues outside hairdressing salons. And it went on. And you know, a man who's uh, you know wants to invent. He's invented the circular banana. And we sort of presented this as things coming up. And it, uh, a lot of people. The scary Twitter, thing you know, was, though, that it sounded just like the sort of stuff he would do. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know. Yes, that's right. Well, on the program today. <laughs> it's always and nonsense, you know. And a sort of speeded up version of the number as well was lovely. But don't yes, give it up. That's a... right. We're talking about should mashed potatoes be banned because it sounds too violent? Text is. BBC. Now, the other man we must mention, obviously, in our roundup today is Piers Morgan, uh, a man who cannot what? be silenced, even though he keeps calling uh, oh. for uh, people to stop silencing him. Yes. Well, what's the thing? Well, you, you, the thing about it is, I mean, I, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently I received a call from the royal family saying congratulations yeah. for standing up to them. Mm. Well, I, well, you know. Well, was he it, asked the same thing? Was Who it the same sure, member tell of the royal? Us who it was. Was it the same member of the royal family that made the remark about little Archie? Exactly. I wonder? I mean, no, I mean, we don't know who that was royal. either. No, we don't. He's, 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 he's created a palindrome, as you know. He has. Well, there's this now there's this fictitious figure who's great because you can use him for anything, yeah. you know. So let's go over to the royal family and qu and get the quote from the man. You can have the guy in a silhouette and he can just answer any question you've got about the royal family. <laughs> yeah, but... What, yeah, you don't know who it is. Exactly, but it's got his sound... Well, what if, Hello, I am the royal that we're not meant to talk about. You work it out. <laughs> Take the lights down. No, no, it's me. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it could be, could be Charles, could be Philip. I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe as long, just... as, the, as long as it goes, <laughs> then it's oh, that, oh, that, you know what I mean. As long as there's some dubiety, yes. And whether it's Philip or Charles, or, right? You know, has anybody Andrew, seen? Uh, uh, has anybody seen Andrew anywhere? <laughs> no, maybe it's look. He's on I don't. I mean, it, it, he's it, another holiday. The interview. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a secret destination. <laughs> Nobody can uh, exactly. say where. No. But he definitely hasn't got anywhere with a man who's been convicted of any child sex crimes. He definitely hasn't done that, obviously. Oh, God. 
Yeah, well, he's. I mean, it's. Uh, and that's that's still got to to materialise, hasn't it? That's. Um, that's, well, know, I think so. Not going over. Yeah, well, we'll have to talk to that the, the mysterious man in the royal family once again to so get the lowdown <laughs> on that. Let's see what's well, going I'm on. not seeing him in. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'd love to invite you to our pub opening on Monday, but I don't suppose you're going to be in town, are you? Well, I'm in Scotland. Yeah, you? I was in London. I was filming in London a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Got, now, how have um, they allowed was... that? Surely you're not allowed well, out of the country. It's all, eh? Oh, it's phenomenal how they do it. I mean, it's it's impressive. You've got to get tested three days before you go on the on location. It's very rigid. But the, what, to see whether you hate the English or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly the kind of test I'm looking for, Mister Squeaker. A passport that's two tiers. Yes. Well, you didn't have He's to go. And, uh, you didn't. You didn't have to go get special permission from Boris to get it out here, did you? I don't, no, 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 don't worry. We're going to proceed. I got. I actually did get my jab two days ago, and uh, all good, you know. Uh, so. Uh, well, you know, he's got a new word: irreversible. He keeps saying irreversible. It. Er, everything's yes. irreversible. He's apparently he's going to drink a pint of beer irreversibly. I'm not quite sure what that irreversibly. means. Irreversibly. Oh, I like that. In- indubitably. Yes. Irreversibly. Yeah. Uh, plebiscite. Yes. <laughs> we have the will, uh, except for the under thirties. Wow. Forget about it. Well, listen, delightful to see you, Lewis. Thank you as you ever too, uh, for see for, for coming on, and hopefully, um, we'll see you soon. Yes, let's hope so. Uh, with toes amputated at in, the bar. With Chim-chim. Nigel. With Nigel. Oh, yeah, well, let's hope that, that could well happen. Uh, <laughs> first, we've got to get over and sort this Enbridge crisis out, because it really could get rather nasty out there. <laughs> it could indeed. Absolutely right. Lewis McLeod, thank you very much indeed. Listen, uh, if you don't feel better after that, there's something wrong with you.